Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently it was reported that an engineer who was working at Advanced Naval System Program at DRDL's Research Center Imarat RCI Complex has been arrested for sharing data on technical components of surface-to-surface -surface Agni missiles and K-series missiles including K-5 SLBM with a suspected ISI agent. The Pakistani spy who masqueraded as Natasha Rao befriended Reddy on Facebook and vowed marriage while successfully extracting sensitive data on India's nuclear deterrence program. The DRDL engineer shared details of 3500 km range K4, 6000 km range K5 and 1500 km range K15 Sagrika missile series. This is really alarming for India because if this technical information is with Pakistan, then they will share it with China and it will compromise our strategic nuclear capability. There has been many such cases in past as well involving DRDO employee and even personnel from armed forces. I think government organization should educate the employees on online honey trap racket being run by our adversaries and their modus operandi. Anyways, the important information what I can analyze from this incident is that K-4 submarine launched ballistic missile is under development with a range of 3500 kilometers and warhead of 2.2 tons. Another version of this missile which is K-5 having range between 5000 to 6000 km is also under development. Last year, we have witnessed the successful launch of Agni-5 and Agni Prime nuclear capable ballistic missile adding new dimension to India's nuclear deterrence program. Both the missiles have a lot of similarities because they are derived from Agni series of missile. K-5 shares the same specification as Agni-5, however it's going to be submarine launched ballistic missile and therefore it will be lighter than the land variants. With the completion of Agni Prime and Agni 5, DRD is moving ahead with the development and testing of K5 SLBM, also known as Ghost SLBM. India currently operates one SSBN officially of 6000 ton in service, which is INS Arihant. Another SSBN of this class is INS Arighat, which has also completed its sea trial and is set to be commissioned in August 2022, along with ISC Vikrant. The nuclear submarines are capable of launching ballistic missiles, adding second strike capability to our strategic command in advent of any nuclear attack. India has two more SSBNs in progress which are S-4 and S-4 Star with a displacement of 7000 ton. S-4 was launched in November 2021 and is undergoing sea trials and will be commissioned by 2024. S-4 Star is still under construction and will be ready for sea trial by 2022 and is expected to be commissioned by 2025. The S-4 and S-4 Star SSBNs are having 1000 ton displacement more than Arihant and Arighat. S-4 is an extended Arihant class design that has twice the weapon carrying capability than Arihant class of submarine. S-4 can carry 8 K-4 SLBM with a range of 3500 km or 24 K-15 SLBM with a range over 800 km in its 8 vertical launch tubes. S-4 and S-4 Star will be SSPMs which will be getting most of the K-4 and K-5 SLBM missiles while Arighat and Arihant will be limited to shorter K-15 SLBMs. K-5 SLBM is a new missile which is yet to be tested and reportedly has a range between 5000 to 6000 km. DRDO has already got approvals to design and develop K-6 SLBM which will have even greater range than K-5 and is expected to be around 8000 km. It will also be capable of carrying multiple warhead or MIRB capable. These missiles will arm S-5 class nuclear ballistic missile submarine which India plans to construct after completion of S-4 star. It is expected to start production by 2022. S-5 will weigh around twice as much as preceding Arihant class submarine. The S-5 class of submarines will weigh close to 13,500 tons. They are planned to be armed with up to 12 to 16 K-6 submarine launched ballistic missile, each armed with multiple independent targetable re-entry vehicles. Since the sea trials of SSBN has started, it is also expected that K-5 will be tested somewhere around the mid of 2022, which is pretty soon. It's also evident 
that the test of Agni-5 was with MIRV, it's possible to test Agni-5 with some key technologies that could be used in K-5 missile. Since S-4 submarine has left the dry docks, the test of K-5 missile is becoming more and more imminent. The initial test of missile will be from submersible pontoon launcher where missile will just come out of water and launch for smaller distance. Pontoon is submarine based missile launcher system. Previously, the pontoon launcher was also used for flight trials of K-4 SLBM. A system of four such launchers has been installed on Aryanth class submarine. With S-4 in blue waters for trial, India is all set to test its K-5 missiles which will equip the new SSPNs and is equivalent to Agni-5 from the ocean. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.